Hi guys, I am Junai Norkia, or you can call me Juno, or, or whatever you're thinking. So this is actually a new video that I want to try, is where, where I actually talk about myself. If you look through my other YouTube videos, you'll just see I'm probably just reacting to either a song or to a movie. But if you see me looking down the whole time, I'm actually reading off of a website I found where where they say general first YouTube video ideas. So the first question is introduce yourself, which I just did, and then after that it's just a bunch of nonsense. And just go down and check. Is what is my favorite song? So my favorite. Uh, I actually can't think of a song now, but but me and my friend Phoebe had had like a song there from Zayn Malik Palotto. Oh, oh, and if you want to know why I'm wearing this there, it's because I actually shaved, yeah, and, and if I shaved, I actually look stupid, so I'm not sure if it's m m making me look better or not, ne? I don't know if I should take it off, what, what you decide, how do I look now, ne? versus how I'm gonna look now, but I'm just gonna keep it on the whole time, so I don't care. Okay, so my favorite song is Zay uh, by Zayn Malik Polo Talk, and I'm actually liking Celine, Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. I'm obsessed with Titanic, I'm obsessed with Twilight. If you also check one of my other YouTube videos, you'll also know I'm obsessed with Twilight. As you, I don't know if you can see Yara, but there's all of the Twilight books and the Twilight movies behind them. I'm actually using um something uh, two Twilight movies to balance my laptop. So anyway... Moving on, my favorite movies, Harry Potter, Twilight, and Titanic. Titanic wasn't always my favorite movie. Wait, I actually have more favorite movies. I actually have, I have, I have like categories like my favorite horror, my favorite romance, my favorite action, my favorite psychological thrillers, my favorite psychological movies. Like psychological thrillers and psychological movies is definitely good. But anyway, moving on again. My favorite TV shows. Right now, I'm actually re-re-watching re Once Upon a Time. I'm actually on season 3 now. I'm almost done with season 3. And then, there used to be... There used to be the Vampire Diaries. The Originals. Legacies. Charmed. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Android used to be my favorite. Up until season 5. Because season 6 and season 7 like, is actually kind of boring. I'm actually struggling to finish. Um, I'm actually by, by the second half of season 5 though. The first half of season 5 was fun. But after that, ne, when they when they break out of the dungeon tomb thingy where they were in, it actually got kind of boring after that. I feel like this thing isn't sitting right. I think I'm just going to take it off. I must also cut my hair. Okay, moving on. Also, I also wanted to mention something. I also made an. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what's that for. Well, I, well, I know what it's for, but uh, I made it today. Okay, yeah, I found the buff website. So the first question is, ne, have I ever met someone famous? I've only met some, um, like, like, uh, like, yeah, my country, which is South Africa. I don't know if you can see this photo over here, but this is Xander, Eggy, uh, and Vicardi from Seven Delan. If you, uh, if you're in South Africa, you and you watch Seven Delan, or if you are of Seven Delan, you know who I'm talking about. Would you like to be famous? Obviously, I would like to be famous. I also like to be rich. So yeah, thank you for asking. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Anything. I don't think I'll change anything though. I think everything happens for a reason. And if you change it, you might just change your future. Like for like for instance, like for instance, I told my crush in grade ten that I liked him, 
and I wouldn't be comfortable telling other people I'd like them if it wasn't for my for my tenth grade crush. Okay, moving on. If you could if you could live anywhere, where would it be? I I actually like Nevada, which is in the United States. I like New York City because of how it looks at night. Uh, I like France because of the Eiffel Tower. I actually want to get proposed in France, maybe even get married. I love Italy because of the culture, the language, the um, the history. I love the United Kingdom because of because of just of the medieval style. I love Greece because of ancient Greece, the clothes they used to wear. Anything ancient though, like any anywhere ancient, I would go. If you have you ever been been in the snow. No, I haven't. It doesn't snow here in my city. It snows. It snows in uh, sometimes in Cape Town, but I've never been there. But it snowed. It snows in Lesotho uh, annually, but I've also never been there because Lesotho is, is a different country in South Africa. Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? I actually sleep with a teddy bear which I won at a church function in 2014. How old was I in 2014? I was actually 14 years old and I still sleep with a bear. I also won a popcorn machine which, well, which I use on occasion. Moving on. Do I like scary movies? Yes, I do. Remember I said earlier I have a category on on my genres where horror is like the like my third favorite. It used to be my second favorite, but I'm actually kind of like it psychological thrillers. I actually watched watched um the girl on the train the other day and the black swan which is to do with psychological like uh like um like the black swan is a psychological horror and the girl in the train is a psychological thriller actually like both of it is because it's to do with the mind have you ever fired a real gun no i haven't i actually fired a pellet gun for a camp for a school camp that i went to they they let us all uh, try three shots. I actually got two two out of the three shots. And the first one was actually like like almost in the bullseye, but it was like the, the set like here's the bullseye in the middle and you get the outer line. But it was on the outer line and the bullseye was really small, so you would like check how far the bullseye was from the edge edge of the second line. Do you like roller coasters? Yes, I do like a roller coaster. I actually have a picture here in my wardrobe. I'm actually sitting in the way and I'm not going to show you my beard and every time. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and just put it here somewhere where you can see. It's, I, I went to Joburg on a trip in 2018 and it was in Gold Reef City. Ignore that. It was in Gold Reef City. The, the roller coaster's name was Tower of Terror, which was which looked fun at first, but when it goes down, it feels like you're falling. I go, it's, it's like you go up there, yeah? and then it goes down. But it's not like like how can I say um curving. It's like straight down. Like imagine you're doing a straight line. That's how it went down. It was super scary. I I actually kept like this up there, yeah? even though I had that protective chest thing over you I, I stuff like I got like I was falling and then it went under under rocks and it felt like I was gonna bump my head. It was super scary. I would do it I, I would do it again because now I know how it's like to go down there because I know what I'm expecting when I'm going down there. Okay last question have you ever cried cried at the fall? Yes I did it was the thing was well I thought So that's all the questions I have here in. I probably went through the questions faster than I'm supposed to. Oh, thanks for watching my video. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and maybe Facebook even. Even Facebook, even though Facebook is has a certain amount of followers you can have, you can still like the person's post or whatever. 
and also please subscribe like comment or don't do all of those things choose what you do because it's a free country a free world except for those strict countries so anyway thanks for watching see you